Well, moving on, Defence Minister Arun Jaitley has dropped a hint that the government is ready for talks with Pakistan, adding a rider that the onus is on the neighbour to create the right atmosphere. Jaitley said that the government is for dialogue, but there are red lines. In a direct message, he said that Pakistan must choose between India or those who want to break India. You see, the present government sent a clear signal in the first instance that we were willing to speak to Pakistan. We were willing to normalize the relationship with Pakistan. The environment for that dialogue and the level at which the dialogue takes place has to be entirely set by Pakistan. My colleague uh, Smita Sharma now joins me from the national capital, former on this story. Uh, Smita, the union minister there making it very clear that India has always been ready for talks. The onus lies on Pakistan to make the atmosphere conducive for talks to take place. Smita, can you hear me? All right, uh, we're going to try and re-establish that line with Smita. But Defence Minister Arun Jaitley has dropped a hint that the government is ready for talks with Pakistan, adding a rider, of course, that the onus is on the neighbour to create the right and conducive atmosphere for bilateral talks to take place. Jaitley said that uh, there, the government is for dialogue, but there are red lines. You see, the present government sent a clear signal in the first instance that we were willing to speak to Pakistan. We were willing to normalize the relationship with Pakistan. The environment for that dialogue and the level at which the dialogue takes place has to be entirely set by Pakistan. All right, Deputy Editor Smita Sharma joining me on the phone line. Uh, Smita, it appears that the Union Minister has sent out a very clear message saying India is ready for talks, but the onus lies on Pakistan to create a conducive atmosphere. Right, Krishika, and in fact, I wouldn't say that this is really a distinctive change in stand immediately because this is exactly what the government of India has been saying ever since New Delhi cancelled off those foreign secretary level talks with right. Islamabad, which were scheduled in August this year. And they have been stating, in fact, uh, the, uh, you know, the Pakistani foreign minister, Sartaj Aziz, when he was speaking to headlines today along the sidelines of the UNGA summit there, somewhere accepted that maybe, yes, the timing of talking to the Horiyat was something regrettable. Absolutely. But this is a maximalist position for India and also for Pakistan to draw down really and come out in public and say we will not talk to Kashmiris and Huriyat is something that will completely go against their traditional stand and put the government in a very bad and a tight spot with the Pakistan army. Well, absolutely. While, uh, you know, Union Minister Arun Jaitley, in fact, chooses his words very uh, correctly and very categorically by saying that Pakistan must choose between India or choose uh, those who want to break India. This is also very similar to the voice that was uh, uh, echoed by Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh, uh, you know, during those repeated ceasefire violations that we saw. Completely. India, in fact, has made the dialogue process with Pakistan as of now conditional to two issues. A, of course, that the talks must remain bilateral, especially within the framework of the Lahore Declaration of Absolutely. 1999 and the Simla Agreement. And also that terror obviously cannot be conducive. Yesterday I was talking to Shyam Saran, who is chairman of the National Security Advisory Board. And he did say that, you know, if, even if you look at the Pentagon documents, the dossier that has come out vis-a-vis uh, -vis Pakistan's role in Afghanistan, in the region, uh, it clearly, uh, he, he was uh, insistent on the fact that Pakistan has to reorient its, its approach and stop thinking of India as the enemy. There are those domestic inimical forces. They are really Pakistan's biggest security threat. So if they reorient that approach, maybe India and Pakistan can work together. Remember, there is the SARC summit upcoming in Kathmandu right. in late November where there might be an opportunity for Narendra Modi to hold a bilateral talk with Nawaz Sharif. But will that actually materialize is subject as of now to uh, several dialogues, uh, conditions that, of course, the union government is stressing on. Right, Smita, thanks so much for joining us. So with that perspective, we're going to continue to track developments and bring you all the reactions on this big story.